Did you know that May 15th, today, is National Sliders Day? Well, Melissa, over I'm Merely Melissa, she knew. And that's why she put together this collaboration today. And there is going to be a playlist available on her channel, 3 p.m. Central Standard Time today, with lots of great different recipes for you for this fun celebration. Now, when you're done watching mine, I encourage you to go check that out. It's a hot one, folks. We're gonna make it through. I'm not gonna turn that air conditioner on yet. Been working outside. Looks like I might've got a little sun today. So I'm a little red, but that's okay. My family's still gotta eat and I'm gonna get those sliders made. We're gonna make Big Mac sliders. Got my trusty, reliable apron on, my hands are washed, and I'm ready to dig into this. First thing we need is a couple pounds of hamburger that has been thawed. This is a local hamburger that was grown by a farmer friend. I've been buying meat from them for years. This is how their daughter went to college. She started out as a 4-H student. It was a 4-H project and she expanded enough to where she was able to put herself through college. Isn't that neat? Support your local farmers, guys. And to this, I'm gonna add two eggs. Today, I'm using my duck eggs because they are starting to really lay now. I'm gonna go wash my hands, I'll be right back. The recipe calls for garlic powder. I'm just gonna use this garlic salt because it calls for garlic powder and salt. So, I'm just gonna use this. Fresh ground pepper. I think I will. And then next, we just need to slice up an onion. The recipe calls for a small yellow onion. And when I went to the store to get onions, I goofed, guys. And I got white onions, but I think it'll be just fine. This needs to be minced. I'm gonna save back some of this onion. And we're gonna use it here in just a little bit. You wanna make sure that you're getting it nice and actually minced, a small onion, okay? In a slider, there's not a lot of hamburger on there. You don't want big chunks. We don't want that in there. That's too big of a piece. And now you can use lots of tools, but I found the ones God gave me, my nice clean hands work best. It's almost like a meatloaf, that egg is really gonna kind of bind this together. I use a leaner meat. When we get our um, steers butchered, we go more towards the 90 lean. But if you use a fatter meat, that's okay. Just make sure to plan to block some of that off after you get done cooking your patties. I'm gonna take about half of this and separate it. And then I want to turn this into six meatballs.
Again, I'm gonna go wash my hands now real quick and then I'm gonna turn on my stove. I have this handy slider maker. I've had it for years. I don't even remember where I got it. Probably at like the Walmart um, as seen on TV aisle or something. I don't know. But I'm going to take these And then we're gonna kind of squish our patty. You know what? Those almost look too big to me. I think a thinner patty is better. So let's start over again. I'm gonna turn these into eight. Patties. While I'm at it, I'm going to go ahead and make the rest of these. I had called for 12 but I ended up making 18 because even with making them a little smaller it's still wanting to kind of come out the sides here so we like a I want to make sure the meat's gonna get done we like our burgers done so let's take this over to the stove so all we're gonna do is put that on a medium heat for about mm, two to three minutes. While the hamburgers are starting to cook, I'm going to make our Thousand Island dressing. I'm gonna take about half of this onion here, maybe a third, about a third of this onion. on the root and now I'm going to cover it in foil to put in the refrigerator and once again I'm just going to chop this up real fine now although there are recipes online that you can follow I'm not so much a recipe follower I go by look and taste and to that, I'm gonna add some ketchup. Some sweet relish. and some mayonnaise. Give this a quick stir. And there you go, Thousand Island. While I've got more of the, um, Hamburgers cooking. I'm going to go ahead and get out these rolls. And these are just store bought rolls I actually got at Sam's in bulk and saw them in the freezer and thought, ah, I'm going to use those up. It looks like I have exactly 18. So there we go. I'm going to put those on there. And I don't have my regular uh, pastry brush. So I'm gonna have to use my barbecue brush, but that's gonna be just fine. And I'm gonna put a little bit of butter on the tops. Is we're gonna sprinkle some white sesame seeds on top. I'm 
You know what? Before I do that, I think I'm going to go ahead and cut them before they're hot. I think it'll be a lot easier. Probably should have thought to do that before I put the butter on. That's okay. Okay, into the oven. Fast of the patties are done. You can see on one side, they don't look as pretty as the other side. Patties, bringing out this diced onion we had saved back. And I'm gonna do just kind of like that certain drive-through place does. And I'm gonna put some of this almost like shredded, very finely diced onion right on top of this hamburger. And next, we're gonna add some cheese. You can take any of your processed American cheeses and use for this. My husband chose a sharp cheddar that was uh, Velveeta. So we're gonna use it tonight and see how this works. It should be super melty. And I just kinda folded it in half. Now I'm gonna go put this in the oven and bring back those buns. Got toasty buns. Let's start building these sliders. We're gonna take maybe a spoonful of sauce and put on the bottom of each of these rolls. Well, I don't think my hands can touch this heat anymore, so I will use a spatula and we'll start filling up these buns. Next, we're going to add one pickle to each of these sandwiches. Next, shredded lettuce. You absolutely can shred it yourself, but today I decided I was gonna get the already shredded stuff. It just takes a tiny pinch on each one. And then as we top the rolls, we'll put just a little more sauce on top. And here they are, Big Mac mini sliders. Okay, so, so I got lucky enough to have a few guinea pigs in the house tonight. And I have never made this recipe before. So I'd like to know what you girls think of these sliders. Oh, no. Oh, it tastes just like a Big Mac. It's Does it taste like a Big Mac? Mm -hmm. Is the patty too thick? Because I was wondering if I was making it too thick. No? Nope. You thought no. it was okay? I think it's good. So a thumbs up then. Yep. Would be Buddy Lick approved? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Thanks, girls.